Hello Virgos, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxy. I am going to do your weekly general and love reading for the week of September 24th, 18th, I'm sorry, September 18th to the 24th, 2017. Sorry about that. Those of you that are new, welcome and thank you for joining me. So, and also those of you that would, you know, like to connect with me on my Facebook or Instagram, I do draw and upload a daily Oracle card message every day to Instagram, um, get a private rating, all the links you need right below every single video. So Virgo, I have been praying for your, over your cards for love, wealth, health, happiness, this week, I am using the Spellcasters Tarot. And um, same as last week, Tarot Sexual Magic. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Perfect. Virgo, I am also going to start putting out monthly oracle card readings with the oracle cards for those of you that really um miss that okay the central issue the nine of pentacles wheel of fortune ten of pentacles so I feel like with the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo, that, you know, this is a card of you know, financially being in a really good place. You know, this is you, you know, being independent, being on your own, and, but, but also being very happy with that. You know, you've worked very hard for your riches. You know, right next to this, you know, we do have the Ten of Pentacles. You know, this is definitely enjoying. You know, you've worked really hard and, and you're enjoying it with the Ten of Pentacles. You know, for some of you, family could be important this week. You know, but this is, you know, really financial abundance. You know, it could be anything within the physical realm. It could be a new job, an inheritance. You know, just um, notice in this in this Nine of Pentacles, you know, absolutely you have all these riches, you know, and financially in a good place. But, you know, you, you have this big wall around you. You look, you know, kind of sad, lonely, even. But um, the Wheel of Fortune, you know, is karma, destiny. You know, things happening the way that they're meant to happen. This divine timing is at play. So for me, you know, in the upright, it could be spring or fall, right? And in the reverse, winter or fall. So, I mean, I, really, I love this. I, I really do love this deck. But the wheel turning in your favor. Get some clarifying cards. If I didn't mention, guys, I'm using the spellcasters. Okay, there we go. Hanged man. Boy, you guys, I think in the past you were stuck. The Five of Cups. And the Three of Pentacles. Let me move these down so you guys could see them too. I don't know why I did that. So, you know, with the Hangman, 
It's something that you've definitely been waiting for for a long time. You know, you're stuck in that limbo period. You know, and the, with the, you know, with the three of pentacles, you know, it's like the nine. I mean, you've worked really, really hard on something for a really long time. And with the five of cups, you know, this situation is emotional for you. You know, you've worked really hard with the hangman. You're stuck right now. And it is a temporary energy. And I feel like you are almost there. You know, don't, you know, give up. And and don't be sad. You know, especially being right under the Nine of Pentacles. You know, I do feel like, you know, the Nine of Pentacles, you know, being the central issue, the Five of Cups being right under it. You know, in this deck, notice the Five of Cups is different, okay? Someone is offering you something, right? But you are completely just blocked off. You have this huge wall surrounding you. You could be thinking about an offer and it's emotional for you. But again, keep in mind, you know, the timing is right. It could be a water sign. Sure, you know, you've been hurt in the past, but I think some of you emotionally really um, are working hard to get out of that feeling so guarded. With the Ten of Pentacles, I, that's probably coming to completion. That's that's definitely for some of you. Let's clarify. I am using the Thelema to, to clarify. Virgo. card wants to come out. Ace of Pentacles. And for some of you, this is a new job, a new home, assets, inheritance, a solid, stable new beginning. It's going to add a great deal of, of stability, security to your life. You know, it's a new beginning that's been really a long time coming. Okay, and the Seven of Cups. Sorry. Now, the Seven of Cups, you know, could represent illusions, you know, fan, you know, that fantasy land, dreamy energy. But again, it's temporary. You know, you have the wheel in your favor, and that's coming toward you. You know, karma, good luck. You know, just make sure that with all these things going on, you know, that it's totally solid and it's not just illusions and fantasies, you know. Yeah, make sure that, that it, it's, it's a grounded... opportunity if it's an opportunity for some of you but whatever it is the wheel's in your favor for real let's look at your love lives tarot of sexual magic for virgo sun moon rising signs Virgo. I do not read these in the reverse.
Ten of Wands. Five of Swords. Queen of Swords. keep going here. Queen of Wands. Oh wow, the Seven of Cups came up again. And Temperance. Alright, we okay. We have this all right, we have the Seven of Cups coming up again. So there is a little bit of um illusion concerning your relationship. You could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Either you or the person that you're dealing with feels shy. I feel like there's a shyness here. For those of you that are just getting into a relationship, one of you is exposing everything like at the same time. And it's kind of this dreamy fantasy land that you're living in about what you think it is. You know, there is, there is a need for either you or them to open up, be honest. But Virgo, I do feel this is more the other person than you. You know, you're definitely trying to work your magic on, on them. That That's really what I'm getting here. Let's clarify. No, this is not what I want. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I knew something was wrong. I want these. Five of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. There is a need really to ground yourself. I feel like you really are trying to win over somebody's heart without looking at all at the other person's faults. It's not real. This is a false feeling. I mean, some things... There are some things that you do not know. You don't know this person too well yet. Or well, there's something missing. You're not seeing something. And even if you are in a stable relationship, something is being hidden. You might have even known this. And you could be sugarcoating shit for them. This is saying approach the situation slowly because th there is some sort of conflict here that, that you're not seeing yet. For real. Let me get us get you guys a a love card. These are um, 
by Kyle Gray. Um, my gosh. Keepers of the of the light. Gosh, that is not coming to me. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. All right, stop trying to stop trying to win over this person's heart. If that's the case, I kind of feel like it is for some of you. And and and. I, I just think whatever it is, you really need to let it go. Open communication. Get weight off your chest. Speak up with love and be heard. All right, so th th there's definitely probably going to be some harsh communication. You know, it's probably going to cause this conflict this week. I think as long as you ground yourself and don't, you know, be tr don't approach it so con in a controlling way. Don't let your emotions get in the way. You know, it could, I, it could go either or either way. You know, for those of you that are partnered, you know, definitely you'll work on it. But, you know, if you're just getting to meet somebody and, and there's already things that are being hidden, secretive, and you don't know, just Virgo. Complete the cycle. It just, it feels... It's just, it feels fake. And it's just a fantasy. You know, you're, you're trying to make it to, to be something that it's not. You know, the Seven of Cups came up twice. You know, you're, you're, it's just, not this week anyway, Virgo. You know, maybe next week. Um, happy birthday to those of you that are celebrating birthdays this week. Love you guys. Um, look at your moon, your rising signs, Venus signs for love. There's also a birth chart listed below all of my videos. Always check it out there. All right. But I hope it helped you in some way, shape or form. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to view the video. I will see you guys back here very soon. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Take care.